Hello everyone who's watching my video and thanks for tuning in. I hope you're finding plenty of useful advice about improving your spoken English in my videos. And here's the 13th episode. I hope you are not superstitious and you won't mind the number 13. But if you are, here's an interesting thing, right? If you think that something bad is going to happen just because a black cat just ran across the road or you shattered the mirror, you are right, it is going to happen. But if you don't believe it, you're also right. Now you're probably thinking, how come that the both things are correct? Well, you see, there's a thing that I like to call a self-fulfilling prophecy. So basically, here's how it works. If you believe something is bound to happen, you are programming your subconscious mind and you may unknowingly take actions that will bring about the thing that you are dreading. But if you ignore the bad sign and forget about it, there's a much smaller chance it will happen. Okay, but what it has to do with the improving my spoken English, you may ask? I think it's rather obvious, my friend. It's simple as, if you constantly think you won't be able to speak fluent English on a particular occasion, you've already failed without even trying. The power of your mind shouldn't be underestimated. And if you have this defeatist mindset, your chances of speaking fluent natural English diminish every time you make a mistake or stutter or hesitate. And this is where it becomes similar to holding superstitious beliefs. If you think that you are not going to perform well, you probably won't. Simple as that. This is all about confidence when speaking English. And you simply must have confidence in yourself. And by the way, making mistakes when speaking English should be embraced as an important aspect of improving your spoken language. Just a quick reminder, here in English Harmony I'm dealing with fluency issues experienced by those foreign English speakers whose spoken English is generally good. It's just that sometimes they experience sudden drops in fluency. So here's how it all connects to self-fulfilling prophecies. If you can get rid of the feeling that your spoken English will deteriorate again, you're done. I know it's not that simple, but you must constantly remind yourself that you can speak English with confidence and no matter how hard the situation you'll be facing, you are fully capable of dealing with it. I've made a number of videos about various important aspects of improving spoken English, not aiming for perfection, stopping translating directly from your native language, slowing down when speaking English, but it all will avail you of nothing if you still keep on disbelieving yourself. I know what the vicious circle feels like. If at this moment your English is good and you can speak with your war colleagues fluently, you still kind of expect yourself to slip, start making mistakes, and then that's it. If it happens, your confidence is damaged again and you feel like you've never been able to speak fluent English. But it's a typical self-fulfilling prophecy and what you must develop is faith in yourself. Yes, you must believe in your ability to speak English fluently and confidently. A strong belief in your English is the foundation binding together things of a technical nature, like slowing down your speech, calming yourself, and using simpler words to explain your point. You can call it faith, belief in yourself, or self-confidence, but it's essentially the same thing. Forget about becoming embarrassed when making mistakes, and most importantly, forget about what others will think about you. The formula to fluent English is quite simple in fact. You just need to speak with others, like you would speak with yourself. Eliminate all emotions from the equation and you will have less and less moments of hesitating English speech. Believe me, if you think it's not that easy to develop a disregard of others' opinion, you're wrong. It may be emotionally difficult, but if you overcome your embarrassment a few times, it starts getting easier and easier with every next attempt. I'll tell you an example from my own experience at work. I have a work colleague, William. And I'm totally confident when speaking English with him, because he's the one I'm communicating with about 90% of the time at work. But when I have to go to the office, for instance, and inquire about specific aspects of client orders and so on, it's a bit of a different story. I'm not so comfortable speaking with the office girls as with Will, and quite naturally I make some small mistakes sometimes, especially in the beginning, when I just started in the company. But do you think I allow those few mistakes bring me down? No way. I simply ignore them. Sometimes I make a joke out of it. Sometimes I keep on speaking as if nothing ever happened. And if you do the same thing, this positive attitude will become a self-fulfilling prophecy on its own. And you will become more confident when speaking English just because you think so. And a small example now before we finish, okay? The other day I was on the phone with our secretary. And she asked me if I could give her the tracking number for a specific delivery. I asked which one she needed. 
the one with the customer's name above or the other one with the stripe code. You see, for some reason I said stripe code instead of barcode. I don't know why it happened, but I couldn't care less. I just laughed it off and corrected myself, saying to her, what's wrong with me, it's barcode I'm talking about. And the girl just had a laugh on the other side of the line too, and that's it, that's where it ended. No sudden drops in confidence, no constant nagging at myself, simply because I know that my English is good, and I just don't care about mistakes and what others might think about me. So throw away your defeatist cloak, if you still wear one, and simply start telling yourself, my English is good, and I know I can speak fluently.